So it is day two here at Turner Falls Park in Davis, Oklahoma. As I mentioned, they had flash flooding last night, so that made it very interesting. Uh, I'm just doing some office work in the van here, which is really nice. I love having this kind of view out my window when I'm doing office work. So not really sure what I'm gonna do. I had a police officer, they kind of act like the park rangers in the park. He stopped by this morning and let me know that the entrance is clear now. I guess it was flooded so no one could get in or out for a little bit after the heavy rains. So I'm gonna go back down there and double check what's going on and see if I can camp here one more night. Although it is a pay camp, I'm just, I'm already here and I do like the atmosphere. It's super quiet and peaceful here. I think there's only like two other campers here. So uh, I'm gonna go check in, see what's going on. I'm just finishing up some work here in the van and then I'll make my decision. The camp that I was intending on going to next is about a two hour drive here. It's almost 1 p.m. already so I have to make my decision now because I don't like to show up at my camps much past 4 p.m. or so. So we'll see what happens. I'll go get some info from the front desk. All right we're heading out of Turner Falls Park. It's really cool. I wish the weather was a little better. I'm grateful I had a nice afternoon yesterday. Was able to swim at the falls it was warm out it was in the mid 80s and humid so that water was very refreshing got to experience that it was really cool would have liked to stay another day but it just looks like it's going to be gloomy like this all day possibility of rain again i guess this is the one here that you really have trouble passing when they have flash floods it's already higher than it was when I came in. It's pretty deep. right now I'll be on this for about uh, I think 25 more miles then I'll hit the 79 south still enjoying staying off the main interstates it's really nice driving like this glad I made that decision I was kind of looking at other routes using the main interstates and it's just so much more pleasant for me much more enjoyable to see much more country it's my style of driving and traveling interesting how how much of this country is just small town the open country well, I'll be going through Wichita Falls Texas find a camp on the west side of Wichita Falls in a small town it's like another city park that offers free camping beautiful country out here coming into Texas I've been in Texas for a while Hello, Texas. Drive friendly the Texas way. Well, this town, a holiday Texas. It's a small town, all right. A little gas station mart and a Dairy Queen. A few other little stop shops and that's about it. Holiday with two L's. Stonewall Jackson Camp. We close between 5 p.m. and 8 a.m. Huh. What is that? Oh, there's a coyote. 
don't know if I'm allowed to camp here or not. It was on freecampsites.net with no reviews or much of a description. That sign out there really didn't say anything. It's like this is a little park area. Huh. I'll drive in a little further. Yeah, you know? I just might park back there. Maybe I'll ride the bike down this road. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and stay here. A uh, truck did pull in out of here. I looked on the side of it. It said something about fire utility or something or other. Looked like a city city truck of some sort. Uh, I'm going to, I don't know. It doesn't really seem like probably the best choice, but I'm here. I'm going to do it. Just checking out this memorial, Stonewall Jackson Camp. War between the states, 1861-1865. General Stonewall Jackson. They do got Confederate flags on the back. A little bit of a history. So I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and park right here where I'm at and just kick back. I'm really tired. I did not sleep much at all last night with the thunderstorms and having to get up in the middle of the night. So uh, yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna give it a shot. If I get a knock and I need to move on, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rest, rest up now. I may have to do some night driving, but um, yeah, this is just one of those spots where I'm here and there's so little around this area that I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So, yep. We'll check in in the morning. Hopefully it'll work out. Well, I got a good night's sleep. I actually slept really well. Uh, I did happen to be awake this morning about 4 a.m. and a vehicle pulled in here, shined their headlights right on the van. I could see the van coming through. I have my Reflectix up, but I could still see the light coming through. Looked like they positioned their vehicle a little bit, maybe to look at my front license plate. I'm not sure. I didn't peek out, so I don't know if it was a police officer. But after a few seconds, they pulled right off. So, um, yeah, I was kind of expecting to get a knock on the door, but I didn't. So that was nice. We'll step outside here. A little overcast this morning. There were quite a few coyotes. A few points to, through the night, you could hear a big pack of coyotes making their noise. So that was interesting. Uh, yeah, otherwise very, very peaceful here. Very quiet all throughout the night. There was another couple. Oh, there, looks like they're still here packing up. They pulled in yesterday evening in a little van there. Went over and talked to them just to kind of, you know, was curious if they knew if it was okay to camp here. They were just like me. They had used freecampsites.net. Nice young couple that's uh, on tour right now. They're musicians and heading back to Wisconsin. So I've got about three hours to my next camp. Uh, I found another free spot. It's still in Texas, but I'm going to be heading through New Mexico soon within the next day or two. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to start slowing down a little bit when I get into New Mexico and do some exploring and then decide uh, how fast I want to move from there. So yeah, we'll check in in a little bit here.